Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Austin, and I am a fashion and beauty content creator and freelance writer based in New York City. And I'm really excited for today's video, mostly because it's going to hopefully restore some order to my life. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I try to do this usually once a season, and I will also likely be doing a separate video for my beauty decluttering as well. But today we're tackling the closet. I will link my decluttering and organization playlist above in case you want to save any videos to watch after you watch this one or in case you know it's fall winter for me and you want a spring summer one um, that's all up there for you to check out so Andrew and I moved into this apartment in March and honestly we have a pretty good divide of space for all of our stuff so we each have one half of this closet over here and then pan to this side I have this white dresser here he has a black dresser in the corner there um, so we have space for our clothes I haven't even really been shopping that much this year um, so my closet was pretty in order when we moved in in March but I am a fashion content creator and I do sometimes get sent items or gifted items or things like that and so there are a few more things that have been added in over time that just have now led to the situation where I'm running out of space for things and I don't like that feeling and I also my style I feel like does change kind of frequently and I think that's a great thing because I think you should always be evolving your style but it's at that time where I'm just feeling like it's fall. Fall is always my January. Um, my birthday is in fall. It's fashion week. It used to be a back to school. Like this is really a time where I just kind of like to reset and reprioritize and get my goals and my life in order for the last couple of months of the year. So if you're like me and you feel that way about fall, I think you're going to be really inspired by this video. There's going to be a lot of time lapsing, a lot of me looking stressed out and making tough decisions about things to keep, things to get rid of. Um, so the way that I usually do this is I take everything out from the drawers, from the closet, put it all on my bed. Um, the only thing I'm not going to be doing is the coat closet in the hallway because we haven't even gotten to fall yet. I'm not really sure like what coats I'll be wearing and I want to kind of reevaluate that once it actually becomes coat weather. So we're just focusing on the bedroom for today. I'll take things out and put everything on the bed and then sometimes I'll have to try things on to make sure they still fit and basically things will either go up on my Poshmark which is always linked down below so definitely go follow me on there and check it out in case you see anything that catches your eye that might end up on my Poshmark and if it can't go on my Poshmark I will bring it to Housing Works here in the city which is an awesome organization um, I love donating clothes there because I know that it goes to a really good cause and I know that people are really good at treasure hunting in there and mo more than likely the clothing will be given a second life in some way which is kind of the whole point of wanting to donate and do all of this stuff that is my general overview um let me give you a quick tour of the wardrobe situation because I don't think I've done a wardrobe tour for this apartment yet so let me give you a quick overview of where things are and hopefully some areas that I'm hoping to um sort out and figure out a solution for. Okay, so as I mentioned, I have this dresser. Um, yeah, clearly we need to do a beauty decluttering. I have this dresser here, and basically top drawer is socks, underwear, and bras, so I don't need to declutter that. That's pretty much staying the same. This drawer, you guys, if you watched my last one, you'll know that I had everything perfectly folded, a la Marie Kondo, and this is my life right now. Um, this is just supposed to be tops, but like here's my giraffe dress from ASOS, so gonna need to sort that out. This is shorts and skirts. The jeans drawer is actually, well, okay. The jeans drawer most resembles what things looked like when I first moved in, um, but you'll also see that pretty much all of my workout clothes slash some pajama shirts are kind of stuffed behind the jeans because there was room for them. Um, but you know, there are these two jeans here that I can't fit in here right now. All right, let's talk about my half of the closet. The closet itself is not terribly disorganized. I just feel like there are things in here that I really don't wear that much and that I would love to figure out the best thing to do with all of them. So starting up top, basically up here, I have some bigger bags that don't fit on my bag shelf down here and a lot of fall accessories and storage. So there are hats and scarves and tall boots and things like that all up there, um, which might be worth me pulling down. I think I'm gonna make that a later priority just cause I wanna get like the main situation sorted first. 
Basically, right around here is my accessories and also my steamer because, I don't know, that's just where it goes. Up here, I've got tops and shorter jackets and also maxi dresses. As you can see, they kind of go right around here. Over here are my bags. I did try to organize these the other day, but it will obviously be much easier once I take all of this out so I can see what I'm doing. And then down here, I've got um, dresses, longer jackets like my blazers, and then I've got some pants and stuff back here. And then these are my tote bags, lots of tote bags inside one larger tote bag in case I'm going to the grocery store or a workout class or something like that. And then the only shoes I have in this closet are these two pairs of white sneakers. The rest of my shoes are in our hall closet and on the shoe rack, um, also in the hallway. So the first thing that's gotta happen is I gotta take everything out of the closet and I gotta take everything out of the drawers and I'm not even gonna try to do whatever's in my laundry basket today. That's just gonna like, I'll try to leave a couple spots open throughout my reorganization for them because I just remembered that they're there right now. It's 9.05 now, and I have to leave here around 11. I'm speaking at the CUNY School of Journalism today. Um, I actually did speak there already once, so I'll link that blog on the screen if you want to listen to me talk about freelancing and content creation and all that kind of stuff. Going to go speak at the same class again today, the freelancing of business. So it's 9.05. I've got about two hours to do this. Let's pray that I make it through, and if there's anything left over that has to be done, um, thankfully, you know, Andrew's at work, so he won't care that the apartment looks like a tornado. Wish me luck, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated as I go. Okay, so I have a quick update. Uh, it's been about 20 minutes. So I took everything out of my closet, barring the uh, top shelf um, and barring these drawers. So I took off all of the stuff that was on hangers and I re-hung it. So I basically have way, way more room now up here, um, but I am going to see if I have any fall stuff up there that might be coming down. I'm not exactly sure what is up there, to be honest. And then this is the lower situation, and what I got rid of is these two piles. These are a couple things that I'm thinking of selling and getting rid of. I just am going to evaluate like the quality of them to see if I can post them on Poshmark or if I should donate them to Housing Works. And then this pile over here is a bunch of summer stuff that I am going to kind of put into storage and save for when it gets warm out again. The last thing I have to tackle going back into the closet is I have five denim jackets right now and I feel like that's a little excessive, uh, even for me. So going to look at this, I think I might for now put this one into my summer storage pile also. This one I got years ago. It has like spikes on the sleeves. It's super crazy vintage looking. Um, and I just haven't reached for it in a long time, but it is more of a summer vibe. So I think I'm going to put it into the summer pile and check in again next year. And otherwise, um, I'm not getting rid of my Ellie Mae one. I'm not getting rid of my ASOS fringe one. I think this one from BDG can go just because it's a style from a couple of years ago. It's a lot more light washed. It's very cropped. It's very fitted. And the style now, um, like this American Eagle one, is definitely a little more oversized and mid wash. And I think that's just my vibe for right now. So I think I'll be selling this one on Poshmark. And then these three can go back into the closet. I think I'm gonna do the drawers inside the closet now because that's where some sweaters and t-shirts live. Not a smooth talker, under pressure. Sweaty palms ain't making it much better. Something about you feels so special. So both of these drawers were packed to the brim with stuff. And now sweaters are neatly folded and easy to access. T-shirts 
organized by color and folded upright so I can actually see what I'm looking at. And I even went in and decluttered two swimsuits from this past season. I forgot, um, don't ask me why, but my swimsuits go under my nightstand. <laughs> That's where they live right now. So decluttered two more items from that, which is great, and kind of just folded everything and got myself organized. Those are kind of more of my early fall sweaters in this bottom drawer down here and I know that I have more um, stored away somewhere so once I kind of figure out what my priorities are if there's anything from last fall that I even want to declutter um, then I'll be in a really good place but we're moving along so far pretty well and now it's time to deal with the drawers outside trying to get your attention you make me Just to talk to you Not a smooth talker Under pressure Sweaty palms ain't making it much better Something about you Feels so special Pretty ugly from the minute that I met So I just cut off the phone with my mom We were actually catching up while I was doing the declutter Because multitasking, you know and now I am pretty much done with everything I wanted to get done. So the only things left to do are to bring a pile to Housing Works, get some stuff listed up on Poshmark, and then figure out where I'm going to put the spring summer clothes that I want to store. Um, I might have to see at some point if I'm able to go to my parents' house. I think I also have some fall winter stuff there that I would want to bring back here. Um, this is what you do when you don't want to pay for a storage unit in New York. So that is kind of it, but let me just show you what the drawers look like and the finished closet situation. I'm really happy with how it all turned out. Okay guys, so here is the shirts drawer. Literally, it looks so different and I'm actually a little nervous about how I folded this because usually when there's room like this It means it'll like scrunch kind of by the wayside. So maybe if I Unscrunch it a little bit. Yeah, that feels a little bit more realistic, but now you can just see everything um, Clearly most of it is black, but that's how it goes and then here is the shorts and skirts and pants drawer. Very happy with how this turned out. I mean, it just looks literally so much better. And then down here, we have the jeans. And yes, there are still some workout pieces behind the jeans, but overall the jeans are here and that is what is most important. So this is my final Poshmark pile. I will be going through and adding things to my Poshmark. My final Goodwill pile kind of just items that you know might have shrunk or have a stain on them or have a rip or something that I don't feel comfortable listing on Poshmark and last but not least of course all of the spring summer clothes that are going to be folded up and put away until it once again is 100 degrees here in New York which I'm sure it will be next year without a doubt. Here's one final shot of the successful wardrobe declutter and switch over. Thank you for coming along on this organizational journey with me. I will link any previous decluttering videos down in the description box in case you're feeling on the roll, you're feeling inspired and you want to keep going with them. And thank you all again for watching. And there are new videos every Monday and Friday, so if you're not subscribed yet, please hit the red button down below to get notified whenever I upload. And give this video a thumbs up if you were inspired or feel motivated or any of the above to kind of tackle your own wardrobes. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.